Welcome to Tally Health videos. In this video, you will learn the process of restricting or disallowing users from performing certain activities such as creating backdated vouchers, deleting vouchers, or accessing reports like balance sheet, profit and loss account, or trial balance of a company. Tally Prime's facility to restrict users from performing certain activities ensures the integrity of data. Moreover, you can ensure that only the people designated for a certain work do it based on their role in the organization. For instance, you may want a data entry operator to only create masters and vouchers and not alter those masters and vouchers. And you may want to restrict data entry operator from creating backdated vouchers and viewing reports such as balance sheet, profit and loss account, and trial balance. In such cases, you will need to set up Tally Prime in such a way that you can implement such security features to restrict users from certain activities. Let us first see how to enable security control features or say user access control in Tally Prime. Press Alt plus K. Alter. And press Enter. Now press F12. And set use user access control to Yes. Press Ctrl plus A to accept. Set control user access to company data to yes. You can follow this step at the time of company creation too. Enter the admin level ID and password. You need to remember this ID and password in order to access data. If you want only the licensed users to access the company data, then enable disallow opening in educational mode. This keeps your data safe from unauthorized users. Press Ctrl plus A to save. Now, let's see how to specify user roles to restrict or disallow some users from performing certain activities. Press Alt plus K. User roles and press Enter. The security levels for company window appears. You can see the existing user roles. You can create user roles under existing security levels if needed. Select the last one and then press the down arrow button to add another. Add the user role and press enter. Name of security level is based on the name of the user role you entered under security levels for company. Under use basic facilities of, you can select from the security list based on the role in the organization. Let's select data entry. Enter the days allowed for backdated vouchers. Let's say 90 days. This will ensure that the user under the security level will not be able to record a voucher with a past voucher date earlier than 90 days. Enter the cutoff date of backdated vouchers. This ensures that the user under the security level will not be able to record a voucher with a date prior to the cutoff date. For instance, enter 1st of April 2022. This means that the user cannot record a voucher with a date earlier than 1st of April 2022. Let's say we do not want the user to save or delete report views for the company. Now, enable set or alter rules of print before save. The print vouchers before save screen appears. Let's disallow for all voucher types. This ensures that the user cannot print a voucher without saving it, thereby ensuring the integrity of your business data. If you do not disallow vouchers from print before save, then users will be able to print the voucher even before the data is saved. Press Ctrl plus A and save the screen. 
The option Exclude on account from bill allocations helps you disallow the users to select on account during bill allocations while creating vouchers. This ensures that correct bill references are selected in the voucher. If you do not set this option as yes, then the users will be able to select on account in bill allocations during voucher creation and the correct bill reference will not get allocated. Allow company to connect is set to yes. This allows you to connect the company for remote and browser report access. You may change it to no if needed. If you select no, then you will not be able to connect the company remotely or access reports on browser. And use TallyNet authentication involves using email ID for authentication. This option is set as no. If you set it to yes, then users will need to provide email ID of your Tally.net account for authentication. Now, let us see how to disallow and allow certain facilities. You may want the users under the security level to disallow from full access to masters, vouchers or backdated vouchers. Let's select full access and then accounts masters, inventory masters, vouchers, backdated vouchers, balance sheet, profit and loss account and trial balance. Once you select all the activities that you want to restrict the user from, select end of list and press enter. Now, let's say you want to allow the user under the security level to create purchase and payment vouchers. Moreover, you want to allow the user to create accounts and inventory masters and display back dated vouchers. Once you select the activities that you want to allow the user to perform, select end of list and press enter. Press Ctrl plus A to save the screen. Press Ctrl plus A again and you are back to Gateway of Tally. Now, let's see the impact of settings under security levels for the user role. Press Alt plus K. Users and Passwords. And press Enter. The list of users for company screen appears. Under User Roles, select the user role for which you have implemented the required settings to allow and disallow the user from carrying out certain actions. Enter the username. Enter the password for the user. Enter more user roles if needed. Allow browser access and allow remote access ensures that the users can connect the company to browse reports and work remotely, respectively. Allow local TDL files provides access to the TDL files stored in computer when you are working remotely. Once you enter all user roles and create all usernames and passwords, select end of list and press enter. Accept the screen. You can follow the steps to add users and passwords in a new company too. Now, let's shut the company and load it using the username and password that we just created. Now, you can either shut the company and load it using the username and password that we just created or just change the user without shutting the company. Just press Alt plus K and then change user. You will be able to change the user when needed. Let's create a master. As you can see, you can create a master as it is allowed. However, you do not have access to altering masters or transactions. Open Daybook and try to drill down to a voucher. As you can see, you get a prompt that says, no access allowed. Similarly, the user will be disallowed to perform certain activities as specified in the user roles. 
Moreover, you can see that balance sheet and profit and loss AC do not appear for the user on gateway of tally because the user is disallowed from those reports. As you saw, you can easily allow or disallow users from performing certain activities based on their role in